All right, it is canning season, my favorite time of year, and I am getting ready to try something new this season. I am going to be canning pineapple. So if you guys have checked out my Instagram, Lately, you know that I posted that I canned some pineapple zucchini salsa, which I will share the link to the video of how I make that salsa up in the corner. But today we are going to can pineapple. I know, I'm excited too. It should be pretty awesome. All right guys, let's get going. Okay guys, so the steps to this aren't super hard. The basic things that you're going to need is a water bath canner and all the things that go with it. So I usually have a rack and a jar grabber with mine, but you don't have to have those things. Um, it just makes it a little easier. And then also you're going to need jars. I went and picked up some new jars. These ones were like $8 at Walmart. And I got the smaller 4 ounce jars because I wanted smaller amounts of pineapple. So one of the other things that you need to do is you need to make sure that you sterilize your jars so they are ready for canning. So right now I am just putting them in a hot water bath real quick to get them sterilized. You're also going to want to take your lids and get them in some boiling water so that they are ready to go on top of your jars. So now it's time to cut the pineapple and get it ready. So most of the time when you can fruit, you make a sugar mix of water and sugar and you can it in that. However, I think that this pineapple is sweet enough that I don't have to add any extra sugar. I don't really like adding extra sugar. So I am just going to boil some water, put the pineapple in there for like a minute, minute and a half just to get it warmed up because you want it warm when you put it in the canning jars and then use that water as a filler for my jars. So we should be good. I'm also going to dump all of that juice from cutting it up into there right now. Once your jars are filled with fruit, then it's time to make sure that all the air bubbles to do this, I usually take a knife and just run it around the edge to make sure all the air bubbles are out and then give it a tap or two on the counter. It's time to put on the lids. After your lids have gotten to the boiling point, you take them out of the hot water, place the lids right onto the jars and lightly secure the rings around the lids. Next, you're gonna wanna put your jars into the wire basket. Now it's time once your water is boiling in your water bath, put your jars in there. Make sure that the water is over the tops of the lids. And then set the timer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, go ahead and take them out and then put them on a cloth on your countertop and let them sit. I like to let them sit overnight. You can usually let them sit for about an hour, 45 minutes, and you're good. That is all there was to it. These are such cute jars. I am in love with the way that they look. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We'll see you again next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.